Let's take a look at this problem. We got log base 5 of the fifth root of x minus 3. x plus 5 squared all over 25. First off, we don't want any radicals, so let's get rid of that. So we're going to rewrite that as x minus 3 to the 1 -fifth power. And everything else remains the same. Now where that came from, there's a number in the slot right here, that's called your index. In this case, it's 5. That's always what goes down your denominator. You automatically put one here, and then whatever's inside your radical goes inside the parentheses. <clears throat> now we got the one fifth power happening, we got second power, we got multiplication, we got division. The main thing that's happening in this problem is division. We got something up on top divided by something on the bottom. Well, division becomes subtraction. So this will be log x minus 3 to the one fifth power, x plus 5 squared minus log of 25. Okay, now look at what's inside this bracket here. We got one fifth power, we got second power, we got multiplication. The main thing that's happening is multiplication. Uh, multiplication becomes addition. So this would become log um, of x minus 3 to the one fifth plus log x plus 5 squared minus log now our base is 5, and we notice that we can rewrite the 25 as 5 squared. Now back here, this first log, uh, it's got a power. You put the power out in front. So that becomes 1 fifth log x minus 3 plus, take this power, put it out in front, 2 log x plus 5. Now over here, remember if these numbers match, these 5 now match, so the log and the 5 is going to cancel. It's one of our properties. we got the minus out in front, and then uh, we left the 2. Now our goal was to get the x by itself we could, like just have log x. Uh, these have numbers with them, but that's as close as we can get to getting it by itself. We have no property that allows us to break it down any further. So that's our answer.